A motorcycle rider who survived a hit and run accident and more is speaking out about it tonight. He's hoping those who know who hit him will call police. News 9's Adriana Ivashinsky joins us live with really a pretty amazing story of survival and his determination. A lot of determination, Kelly. Just last week, Mark Huckabee was lying in the intensive care unit, lucky to be alive. There were also fears that he would be paralyzed for life. But Mark is a fighter and is on the road to recovery. Blood rash there and there and there and there. And Despite his many injuries, Mark Huckabee is doing remarkably well. Broke this bone in two places. But he knows his limitations. I can't walk yet. I can drag myself with a cane a few feet at a time. The cuts and abrasions will heal, and soon the cast will come off. But what hurts him more than anything is the fact that nobody has come forward for the hit-and-run accident. He can't go to sleep every night thinking, knowing that he left somebody laying in the middle of the street to die. Mark and his family are convinced this helmet saved his life. The accident happened last week at this intersection in Moore, leaving both Mark and his bike shattered in more ways than one. Police say they've received no leads. He probably wasn't even looking at me when he hit me. I didn't hear any breaks or anything. In the meantime, all Mark and his family can do is wait and pray someone comes forward. That's all we're asking. Just come forward and take responsibility for what you've done. I can see how it was an accident. I can see how, how it happened and and you know, I can somewhat forgive that because accidents happen. People are only human, but um, what he did afterwards is what, is what just shocked me. Well, this could have killed him. Jesse Arevalos is with the Down Bikers Association. He says hit and run accidents like Mark's happen far too often, and that's why they're here to help. See ya. The cars need to understand they are bigger than us, but that doesn't make them a bully. And a lot of people take care of us and watch out for us, but a lot of people don't care. Despite the accident, Mark says he will ride again. Oh, yeah. Definitely. There's no doubt about that. And he has this to say to everyone sharing the road. Just be safe. It's hard to, it's hard to see a motorcycle. You know, and, and all, all the riders just they need to watch your backs. You know, pretend like everybody's out there to get you. That's all you can do. But you can't quit riding. Now the family is offering a thousand dollar reward for any information that will lead to the arrest of the person responsible for the hit and run. That driver was driving an older 1990s or early 2000 model silver Jeep Cherokee with a broken headlight.